According to Islamic law, a claim is made on the property of a deceased Muslim by his heirs. The name of this Sampali distribution according to the rules of Islam is Farat. According to the law of inheritance, the property left by a person after his death or those who are entitled to occupy the property are the heirs or heirs of the person who died in the hall. You will get how much of the property. This is emphasized in Surah Anisa of the Holy Quran. Distribution of property of the deceased among his heirs in accordance with the Faraj law. 1. If the deceased has sufficient property, all the expenses of his burial shroud will have to be met from there. 2. If he has incurred any debt while he is still alive, he will have to repay it from the property he left behind. 3. If his wife's dowry has not been paid or if it is partially unpaid then it has to be paid. In general, the wife's full dowry, whether the husband is dead or alive, must be paid in full from the husband's property in accordance with the law. 4. If the deceased made a donation or will, it must be given to the recipient. After the completion of all the above works. The remaining property of the deceased should be distributed among his heirs as per Faraj law. No child is considered an outcast under Muslim inheritance law. As a result, he cannot be deprived of property. However, if a person donates or transfers the property in a registered manner and does not mention the child's share for the purpose of a depriving the child, the child will no longer receive the property will not receive the property of the deceased. Honest sons and daughters do not get the property of honest father or honest mother. In the same way, an honest father or an honest mother does not get the property of an honest son or daughter. If someone kills someone, the killer does not inherit his property. If a husband and wife get divorced while they were alive, no one will get anyone's property. The illegitimate child will receive property from his mother and mother's relatives according to the general rules. According to Muslim Hanafi law, if the deceased has no inheritance and he makes arrangements not to give it to anyone while he is alive, the government will inherit his property. Partners Swalmi Father Your sister Wife Mother Stepsister Grandpa, grandmother or grandmother, brother-in-law, daughter, son's daughter, sister-in-law. Some important aspects of inheritance law. The specific part described in the Quran is divided into six parts. Namely, a half, one-third, one-fourth, one-six, two-thirds, and one-six. Jabi al faruj their portion is prescribed in the Holy Quran. Stabil Thoryuj is twelve people. Of these, four are males and the remaining six are females. Four men are dash. One, husband. Two, father. Three, grandfather. Four, honest brother. Petria. Six women. One, wife. Two, daughter. Three, son's daughter. Four, mother. 5. Grandmother and Grandmother, 6. Siblings, 6. Stepsisters, Stepmother, 6. Stepsisters, Stepmothers. Asab or Remnant. 1. There are four classes of Asbagana. Class, 1, 1, Son, 2, Daughter, 3, Son, Son, 4, Son, Daughter. Class, 2, 1, Father, 2, Grandfather. Class 3. 1. Siblings. 2. Siblings. 3. Honest brother, stepmother. 4. Honest sister, stepmother. 5. Son of brother. 6. Son of sat by, stepmother. 6. Son of the brother of the brother. 6. Son of the son of sat by, by Matria. Class 4. 1. Uncle. 2. Uncle, stepmother. 3. Cousin. 4. Cousin, stepmother. 5. Cousin's son. 6. 
son of cousin, stepmother. 6. Son of cousin son. 6. Son of the son of the cousin, stepmother. If only male or female furniture. Men or women will get the whole of the rest, but. Men and women of the same class live together as Asab. Males and females will be left in the ratio of 2, 1. Those who do not take up a fixed share as a shareholder in the property but who may inherit the remainder after the shareholders have acquired it are the survivors or Asab. J. Balaram is the person with whom the deceased has a blood relation but not a direct inheritance of the deceased. Some common questions in inheritance law are 1. Q. How is the inheritance classified in Muslim inheritance law? Answer. There are three categories of inheritance in Muslim inheritance law. Such as, partners, survivors, distant relatives. 2. Q. Who are the partners? Answer. The share of the heirs is specified in the Quran. 3. Q. Who are the survivors? Answer. According to the rules of the Quran, after the distribution of the property of certain partners who have blood relations with the deceased and those who have rights to the remaining property are the ones who enjoy the remainder. 4. Q. Who among the distant relatives will get the property? Answer. Those with whom the blood of the deceased is related but they are not partners or survivors, they are distant relatives of the deceased. Only the distant relatives of the deceased will get the property if the deceased has no partner or surviving heir. 5. Q. Inheritance of property according to Muslim inheritance law. Answer. In Muslim inheritance law, among the three classes of heirs, the partners are the main heirs. If there is property after giving the allotted share to them, then it has to be distributed among others that is the partners get priority among all the heirs. Wife is one of the partners. Under the Muslim Inheritance Act, the following six persons are not excluded from inheritance under any circumstances. Father, mother, son, daughter, self, 